Everyone, well, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core, and today I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the simple uh, demonstration about the name property. What is the name property in the constructor for HTTP GET attribute? So here we have a HTTP GET attribute is a class name, and uh, the name is the uh, constructor parameter. So as I can see, the biggest advantage of the name property of the HTTP method attribute, which is the best base class of HTTP GET attribute, as actually HTTP GET is the base class of HTTP GET attribute is that you can discontinuous method overloads. So uh, here is an example. Uh, you, as you can see that uh, the first uh, class is the test controller class and the inherit with the control base class. Uh, so I mean to say that you have to use uh, API. And here we have a HTTP GET uh, method, but uh, there is a no parameter. So, uh, there is a no template and the name property. But you, as you can see in the uh, this is the GET B. Here we have a template that is get b and here we have a parameter class and here we have single parameter that is template that is get b and the action name is also get b but the template name is also get b and here we have null so just go for the next thing uh, if you are using a remote debugger uh, or you can say debugger uh, route debugger uh, in your application then that file that JSON file will be returned and as you can see that action get a controller test name is null and name is null i mean to say that as you can see that just go for the previous slides and here you can see that uh, the name property is at here null uh, in the a parameter so controller name is the test controller action name is the get a here you can see that action is get a controller is test name is null template what is the template api and the test controller so according to this api and the test controller and uh, the constraint uh, constraint is that that's fine is empty but here you can see that the template is defined in the second parameter that is get b and the action name is the similar so what is the uh, difference between get a and the get b if you are defining template then what is the difference in the uh, debugger route debugger action is get b action is get a controller is test name is null but the template what is the template that is api test and the get b that is the template okay constraint is this uh, and the template is this because it's null uh, defined and uh, as you can see in that um, action get c and action get d here you can see so uh, what is the but here you can see that template is get c in the um, get c and here we have a single parameter that is c and the name is get c okay both are the same and get c and the name is get d and in the uh, controller action method action is get c controller is test uh, okay name is get c and uh, name is get c but here is null and null as you can see in the get c is the name is get c and name is get d both are the difference between both name get c and get d okay template is api test get c template api test get c oblique this like that here you can see that template is get c template is get c and oblique this okay so here we have okay and the name is get d and name is get c okay so here you can see that the name property is get c and get d but the template is the same here we have single uh, observer value okay so uh, just you can see that get a method it is exposed under the controller it is exposed under the controller route because no template has been specified if you are not defining any template the, because here we have not defining any template so exposed under the route controller under the controller route because no template has been defined specified but if you are defining any template as you can see in the this is uh, if you're defining any template like that get b so in the get b it is exposed under the api test get b because the controllers and the actions template prop, uh, properties are combined okay so here we have a templates are defined so exposed under the api test get b and the second line of the get a method the route itself the route itself does not have a name so you can't refer to this route via the name inside action link or created at route 
but get b this route itself does not have a name so you can't refer to this route via the name inside action link or created at route so you cannot define any route inside the action link or created at route methods okay okay so here we have not defined any in this and the get c method here you can see that get c action method uh, it is exposed under the API test get C and C because the controllers and the action template property action templates property are combined. Then C parameter can ex accept any value. Um, if it is not provided, then if it is not provided, then get D will be called. If you are not provided uh, any value in the C, then you can see that if it is not provided any value in the C, then get D will be called because the it template is defined api test get c and here we have api test get c and that is the user defined value it is an optional value you can say if you are not defining if you are not provided then get d will be called because that was registered first the router uh, the route has the name get c the route has the name get c so you can refer to this route why it's a name inside action link or created a route like as we uh, did it inside get d and the get d oops get d method it is exposed under the api and test get c because the controllers and the action template property are combined because it's what registered um, prior get c method routes that's why it's will called if no further path is provided the route has the name get d in the created at route we are referring to get c why it's a name not um, through its route if we are replacing the name so get c then it would throw the following exception at runtime so obviously you can go for the name property as well as the template property okay so um, difference between both uh, template and the name property i will discussed so thank you guys for watching this video